Once upon a time, in the vibrant city of Athens, there lived a man named Diogenes. His peculiar ways and unconventional behaviors made him the talk of the town, with many labeling him as crazy. But as the saying goes, don't judge a book by its cover. Diogenes was not a madman. He was a philosopher, a cynic who dared to challenge societal norms and live life on his own terms. Born in ancient Greece around 412 BC, Diogenes grew up in a world of great thinkers and philosophers. But instead of following in the footsteps of his contemporaries, he chose a path less traveled, a path that led him to embrace simplicity, self-sufficiency, and a rejection of material possessions. Diogenes believed that true happiness could not be found in the pursuit of wealth and power, but rather in a life stripped down to its bare essentials. He sought to free himself from the chains of society, to live in harmony with nature, and to find contentment in the present moment. To convey his message, Diogenes resorted to unconventional means. He chose to live in a large ceramic jar, forsaking the comforts of a conventional home. This peculiar choice of abode was not just a whim, it was a powerful symbol of his rejection of societal expectations. The jar represented his freedom from the trappings of wealth and luxury. When people questioned his dwelling, Diogenes would respond with a mischievous smile, I am a citizen of the world and my house is wherever I happen to be. But living in a jar was just the beginning of Diogenes' eccentricities. He openly embraced a life of poverty, wearing rags and surviving on meager meals. While others scoffed at his destitute appearance, Diogenes remained unbothered. When confronted about his poverty, he calmly replied, Poverty does not bother me. It is not poverty, but the fear of poverty that afflicts me. Diogenes' audacious behaviors didn't end there. He often engaged in acts that society deemed bizarre or inappropriate. One example of his unorthodox actions was his tendency to urinate and defecate in public. While this may seem outrageous and offensive, Diogenes saw it as a way to challenge societal conventions and question the hypocrisy of societal norms. He believed that our bodily functions were natural and should not be hidden or deemed shameful. By openly performing these acts in public, he aimed to provoke thought and challenge social taboos. Another notable instance of Diogenes' eccentric behavior was his fondness for walking barefoot through the streets of Athens, regardless of the weather or terrain. He believed that wearing shoes and relying on material comforts separated us from the Earth's natural energy. By connecting his bare feet with the ground, he sought to remain grounded and in touch with nature. This peculiar practice not only branded him as crazy in the eyes of many, but also symbolized his rejection of societal expectations and the trappings of comfort. Diogenes was also known for his unabashed disregard for social hierarchies and conventions. He would often engage in conversations with people from all walks of life, regardless of their status or reputation. He believed that true knowledge could be found in the wisdom of everyday people, rather than in the privileged elite. By mingling with the common folk and challenging the notion of intellectual superiority, Diogenes emphasized the importance of equality and the power of shared human experiences. In his relentless pursuit of authenticity, Diogenes was not afraid to challenge the powerful figures of his time. One such encounter involved his interaction with Alexander the Great, the mighty conqueror. When Alexander approached Diogenes impressed by his wisdom, he asked if there was anything he could do for him. In response, Diogenes, undaunted by the presence of a king, simply requested, stand out of my sunlight. This bold request showcased Diogenes' unwillingness to be awed by power or submit to authority. He wanted to remind Alexander and all those in positions of authority that true greatness lies in the pursuit of virtue and wisdom, not in the trappings of power. Through the lens of Diogenes' wisdom, we can gain valuable insights into living a fulfilled life. Let us embark on a journey into the lessons we can learn from this audacious cynic. The first lesson Diogenes teaches us is the importance of simplicity and self-sufficiency. In a society consumed by materialism, we often equate happiness with the accumulation of wealth and possessions. Diogenes challenges this notion. He shows us that true contentment lies not in the abundance of material goods, but in embracing a simple, uncluttered existence. By focusing on our basic needs and detaching ourselves from the constant pursuit of more, we can free ourselves from the burden of excess. Diogenes encourages us to appreciate the beauty of a modest life, unencumbered by the weight of unnecessary possession. In his words, the wise man wants for nothing, the fool is always wanting. 
Authenticity and individuality are also lessons we can learn from Diogenes. In a world that often pressures us to conform, he embraced his unique quirks and celebrated his individuality. Diogenes teaches us to shed the masks we wear to please others and embrace our true selves. He encourages us to be unapologetic about our passions, quirks and dreams, regardless of societal expectations. Diogenes himself said, I am looking for a human being. In this statement, he expresses his desire to find someone who has embraced their authenticity, a person who is not swayed by external influences but remains true to themselves. Questioning the status quo is another valuable lesson we can learn from Diogenes. He believed that blind acceptance of authority and tradition stifles our ability to think critically and live authentically. Diogenes challenges us to examine the beliefs and values we have inherited and break free from the chains of conformity. By cultivating a curious and skeptical mindset, we can carve our own path in life and discover our own truth. Diogenes invites us to embrace the pursuit of knowledge, to question everything, and to be relentless in our search for truth. In his words, the foundation of every state is the education of its youth. Reject the illusions of society and embrace the wisdom of your own soul. Diogenes also teaches us about freedom from fear. He believed that it is not poverty itself that afflicts us, but rather the fear of poverty. In a society driven by the fear of scarcity and the relentless pursuit of material wealth, Diogenes reminds us that true freedom comes from detaching ourselves from the fear of lack. By shifting our focus from what we lack to what we possess, we can cultivate a mindset of abundance. Diogenes challenges us to let go of our attachments to material possessions and find contentment in the simplicity of life. In his own words, he has the most who is content with the least. Lastly, Diogenes urges us to live in harmony with nature. In our fast-paced, technology-driven world, we often lose touch with the natural world and its inherent wisdom. Diogenes emphasizes the importance of reconnecting with nature and finding solace in its rhythms and beauty. He encourages us to spend time outdoors, to appreciate the wonders of the natural world, and to live in accordance with its cycles. By doing so, we can find a sense of peace and groundedness that is often elusive in the chaos of modern life. Diogenes believed that nature holds the key to our well-being and happiness, and by embracing a simple, uncluttered existence, we can find true harmony with the world around us. Diogenes' eccentricities were not limited to his living arrangements and unorthodox behaviors. He also challenged societal norms through his unique approach to education. In a time when formal education was highly valued, Diogenes took a different stance. He believed that true education went beyond memorizing facts and regurgitating information. Instead, he advocated for a philosophy of experiential learning. Diogenes would often engage in philosophical conversations with anyone willing to listen using everyday situations and encounters as opportunities for deep reflection and introspection. Through these dialogues, he encouraged individuals to think critically, question their own assumptions, and arrive at their own conclusions. One particular instance exemplifies Diogenes' approach to education. On a busy marketplace day, he came across a young man who was eagerly showing off his newly acquired possessions a fine cloak, a beautiful pair of sandals, and an expensive goblet. Instead of dismissing the young man's excitement, Diogenes engaged him in conversation. He asked the young man, Do you know how to use these possessions wisely? The young man looked perplexed and admitted that he had not given it much thought. Diogenes then proceeded to explain that true wisdom lies not in the possession of material goods, but in the understanding of their value and the moderation in their use. By challenging the young man's focus on external trappings, Diogenes encouraged him to explore the deeper meaning behind his possessions. Through this encounter, he instilled in the young man a newfound awareness of the importance of mindful consumption and the dangers of becoming overly attached to material goods. Diogenes' teachings go beyond philosophical discussions and eccentric behaviors. They touch on the very essence of what it means to lead a meaningful life. He challenges us to redefine our values and priorities, urging us to question the societal expectations that often lead us astray. In a world driven by materialism, conformity, and the relentless pursuit of success, Diogenes stands as a beacon of authenticity and individuality. His audacious actions and eccentric behaviors were not the result of madness, 
but a deliberate choice to challenge societal norms and live a life aligned with his principle. So, as you reflect upon the life and teachings of Diogenes, embrace the wisdom of his eccentricity, dare to question the status quo, embrace simplicity, and find freedom from fear. Let his example inspire you to cultivate authenticity, celebrate your individuality, and live in harmony with the natural world. Remember his words when he said, the greatest wealth is to live content with little. Find contentment in simplicity, seek wisdom through experience, and let your unique eccentricities shine brightly as a testament to your authentic self. In the spirit of Diogenes, challenge the illusions of society and embrace the wisdom of your own soul.